father said uh, after the elect is sealed, okay, he's going to send them missiles. He's going to perform that, man. He said that the RFID chip had to come. These, these kind of days had to come. That is going to be fulfilled, man. Okay? That's the times we're living in. Very beautiful times. All right? This is Jeremiah 11 and 6. Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant and do them. So we're, we're told to come out here on the streets, man. It just said in this verse to proclaim these things on the streets. That's why we come on the highways and byways and we push this word, man. Right now it's cold. I can't even feel my fingertips. But does that mean I should sit at home and just drink hot cocoa and just watch videos and say, well, the Lord knows my heart. The Lord, he understands that it's cold out there, so I should just kick back, you know, because I'm using wisdom. Why would I want to freeze? That's using wisdom. No. This truth has always uh, been about sacrifice and being selfless. It's not about you all the time, man. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices. You may not have the money, but if a brother is doing bad and you have something, give the brother something. Okay? This truth is all about sacrifice. Us coming out here when it's cold, this is part of that sacrifice. Now the Lord told us to come out here on the streets, man, and proclaim this word. So you know what? If you're in your right mind, that's what the hell you're going to do, man. Why, why would you tempt the Lord? Why would you play with fire, man? Like I uh, said earlier, we are sent by fire. And I may make that a lesson. Okay? If the spirit of Yahweh God sent me, I will shine loud. But the prophets, the men of the Lord, we are sent by fire, man. And that's why we're able to come out here in the cold. Through the spirit and endure this burden. Okay? It's for Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai did this, man. This is nothing. Yahweh Shai already suffered and endured for us, man. So it's only right if you have character, if you have, if you have some kind of moral integrity to pay the Lord back in, in however way possible, man, in righteousness. Not in creating your own righteousness. All right? Jeremiah 11 and 6. Then, then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. Which is pretty much saying, look, go, go to these Israelites, man. Go hit the highways and byways and, and prophesy to these Israelites. Let them know what's going on. Let them know the times that we in. Saying, hear ye this word, hear ye the words of this covenant, and do them. Now this book, this book was only given to the Israelites. Okay? This is the book of the covenant, which was given to Israel. Okay? This book wasn't uh, uh, put together for every single person on earth to pick up and read and feel inspired. Okay? It's not for you either. Even at this present time, it's not even for you two-thirds, man. The Bible is a stumbling block unto the majority of you people. You don't understand it. Okay? Hear ye the words of this covenant and do them. So when you intentionally just go against the will of Yahweh by some of Yahweh's side, you're really asking for judgment. You're really just asking to be destroyed. Because the scriptures tell you how, you know, the Lord is long-suffering. The Lord is patient. But a lot of you people, you take his patience and abuse it. You feel like the liberty that the Lord has given you is just something that you've earned. You deserve it. The Lord is long-suffering because, for one... He, he don't even need us, for one, okay? But the Lord is long-suffering because he made a covenant with our forefathers, man. Starting with Abraham. Okay, going back when Abraham's name was Abram, before he had his name changed to Abraham. 
okay, a promise was made with him, man. And guess what? Here in this generation, Abraham's seed is still on this earth. Okay? The 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, we are those people. We are the children of the covenant. So when you don't want to do the words that are in the covenant, it's only right that you be judged according to the law of the covenant. Whether you like it or not, see, this is what you Israelites don't understand. This is how serious this is. See, reincarnation is in the Bible. This is the book of the covenant. Now, us as a nation, we all made a covenant to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Those same spirits are here today. Just because you forgot the covenant that you made with the Lord, does that mean the Lord shouldn't judge you according to what the law says in the covenant? It's too late, man. You Israelites already made that covenant with the Lord. We're already married unto the Lord. But a lot of people, they have to die, man. Because they don't care about the ways of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and especially you wicked ass women. You wicked ass women are the worst, man. And it's so backwards that these men, they follow you because they want some. And you know what I'm talking about. I ain't talking about no damn popcorn. This is Colossians 2 and 20. Wherefore, if ye be dead with Mashiach, who the world calls Christ, from the rudiments of the world, why as though living in the world are ye subject to ordinances? Okay? Going down further. <clears throat> Touch not, taste not, handle not, which all are to perish, with the using after the commandments and doctrines of men. So many people are going to be destroyed because they follow after the doctrine of men. They follow after the philosophies of Esau. They follow after the philosophies of Moab. They follow after the philosophy of Ammon. Okay? Our people want to be everybody under the sun, but they don't want to be Israelites. Okay, our people are a bunch of lost souls, man. All right? But when you follow the commandments of men, you're setting yourself up to be destroyed. Because as I've stated, you being an Israelite, little do you know in your past life, you was a part of that covenant. So you are held responsible. Now it says in Ecclesiastes 5 that when you make a vow unto the Lord, you're supposed to pay that vow, man. So this covenant that we have with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, it's, it's a vow, all right? Whether you want to be an Israelite or not, whether you believe it or not, you made a covenant with the Lord. And if you don't turn back from your wickedness, from your evil ways, the same message that we say every time, guess what's going to happen? You're going to have a brutal judgment, man. There's going to be a lot of brutality, a lot of fatality. Uh, animals are going to be loose. A lot of animalities. <laughs> you know, like this is Mortal Kombat, man. But there's going to be a lot of vicious uh, spirits that the Lord is going to let loose on this earth, man. So if you follow after the commandments of man, you have to perish. You have to die for that. Because you're held accountable. The prophets are out here. So you can't say, well, I didn't know. I, I didn't have a clue. No, you did know. You do have a clue. You just wanted to be rebellious. You just wanted to uh, do things how you wanted to do. You didn't care about what the scripture said. You was like, nope, I'm going to create my own righteousness. But you know what? Living like that, you're going to perish. Okay? which all are to perish with the using after the commandments and doctrine of men. So I'm going to jump to uh, Proverbs 17. Proverbs 17 and 16. Wherefore is there 
a price in the hand of a fool to get wisdom, seeing he hath no heart to it. So a lot of people, they follow after the commandments of men because when it, come, when, it, when it comes to wisdom, they don't really have the mind for it. They don't dwell on it. They don't really care about it. To them, it's vain. It's unprofitable to have the actual truth because it doesn't sound right. It doesn't, it doesn't um, resonate with my thought pattern. I'm used to it being like this, but then here you come and you're saying it's like that. Well, follow after the ways of this world. Get put to death then. There's no point of trying to break down the scriptures to someone who doesn't have the mind for it. If they don't have the same passion for it as you do, you try to bring it up with them and they want to change the subject or create their own righteousness, there's no point. You know? Talk about something else. Talk about something vain. Talk about basketball. You know? Talk about football. You know, basic bullshit. You know, basic things of the world. Because if someone doesn't have heart for this truth, don't waste your time trying to break down these scriptures to them. Pretty much in their mind, they already have the truth. They already um, have their kingdom. They're fine. Our people are here in slavery. We're in captivity. But our people don't give a shit, man. That's what it comes down to. Our people do not care about the condition that we've been brought to. But just like um, planting a garden, it had to come through this. Or it had to come to this. All the things that we've been through, okay, it has sprouted to where it is right now. You Israelites thinking you free because you got to go to work and slave. That doesn't make any sense. But really, you think you're free because you can go to work and you're working next to a heathen. And you feel like, well, they got to go to work too. Everybody's equal now. No, nope, it's not the case at all. Okay? You've been duped. You've been bamboozled. You've been told that you were equal. But the so-called white man does not look at you as an equal. That's following the commandments of man anyway. The Lord made you Israelites to be better than these heathens. But yet you want to take something that's less than you and make it, make it equal to you, which is really making it over you. Because just like a woman, once you make it equal to you, it is going to exercise its dominion over you. Okay? But a lot of people, they have to die, man, because their mind is not focused on wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. They want to talk about um, adultery. They want to talk about sports. They want to gossip about somebody else behind their back. And they can't say it to their face. That's what people love in this world. There's no loyalty in this world. So for those who have come into the truth, if you turn back and go into the world, you're a fool. You're an idiot. Okay? But us in this truth, us as men in this truth, you know, we have to do better discerning who we give this truth to. But at the same time, don't quench the spirit. It sucks that we have to be circumspect. We have to be like Clark Kent. But you also have to learn to um, shine this light using craftiness, man. You have to learn how to speak the truth without blatantly speaking the truth. You have to learn how to uh, speak symbolically sometimes. Because for those in this world who don't have the heart for this truth, they're going to become your enemy for this truth. Okay? And believe me, we have many enemies. Many enemies, man. There are, little, there are uh, literally people who want to see me dead, man. They want to see me drop dead. You know? 
We have many enemies, but guess what? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, some of Yahweh shy, we're going to conquer all that, man.